Hey everyone, I'm Kieran O'Donnell. Welcome to another video in my Building Message Driven Systems playlist. Today we're going to be talking about sending and receiving from topics on Azure Service Bus. So we're going to dive into Visual Studio, take a look about how we can get that done. Okay, so here we are in Visual Studio and we've got the code that we left off with before. Uh, some of these extra windows. We've got the code that we left off before with uh, uh, sending messages to and from our queue. So we're gonna change this code basically into sending through topics and subscriptions. So just to recap, we wrote out to the console that we're starting our application, and then we create this queue client, which is our connection to our service bus queue. It takes in the connection string, which we got from the Azure portal. It took the entity path, the name of the queue that we wanted to be able to uh, send and receive from. We had to do a receive mode because queue clients can receive messages. So we had to say whether we wanted peak lock or receive and delete. Remember we chose, we're going to choose peak clock by default from now on because that enables Service Bus to keep hold of the message in case we can't process it successfully. And if we have fail, we can re-deliver the message to somebody else or to us again, and we can have another try at doing that. If we do receive and delete, the sooner Service Bus gives us the message, it will throw it away. And so we don't typically want that because that's going to make it unreliable. And then our default retry policy. Then we call this register message handler method. We give it two functions, one which is our message handler, so it passes the message and a cancellation token. We're able to then process the message, get the information out of it that we that the sender has sent, and do what we want with it. We were writing it out to the console. Uh, the second one that we pass in is what gets called when an exception happens. So if you have an error in your handler that happens and bubbles up to the service bus, or if service bus itself has some kind of error in processing, it'll call that exception handler that you pass in as that second argument. So we registered those two and that subscribes us to uh, the queue on service bus and then we just have a little while loop so we could keep entering text and hitting enter and it would send that into a message and send it through service bus and we'd receive it again so we're going to do basically the same thing but we're going to change this over to topics and subscriptions uh, so quickly i'm going to jump over to our service bus so i'm in this kind of same service bus instance that we were using before um, you can see all the stats and things like that and last time we went into queues and we saw that we had this demo queue this time we're going to go into topics and we can see that I've made one called demo topic. And so we're going to jump into that, take a look at our topic. It's basically the same as a queue from the, the kind of uh, UI, but underneath it, we've got more entities called subscriptions. So remember subscriptions live underneath topics. If you aren't really sure what topics and subscriptions are, check out the video earlier in this playlist that, talk, that gives an introduction to topics and subscriptions and how they work. So we can jump into subscriptions and we can see that we've already got one set up called demo subscription one. When we set the subscription up, this is actually where we set the maximum delivery count. So if you remember again, when we did the error handling kind of demo in the, in the receiving from queues, whenever we threw an exception, service bus would give us the message back again. When we, did, when we set our receive mode to peak lock, it would hold on to that message. When we threw an exception, it would say, oh, well, they've not processed it, so have another copy of the message. That's where we set that variable, that, that maximum delivery count. And you set it when you create the subscription or when you create a queue. So we've got our topic, demo topic, and then our subscription, demo subscription one. So that's what we're gonna be using for this demo. So we're gonna jump back in here, and instead of our queue client now, what we're gonna need uh, is a company named topic client. And this is gonna work almost identical to the queue client and how it works. The, the uh, constructors are almost identical as well. And so we're gonna to wanna to pass in a connection string, uh, an entity path, and our retry policy. So I'm gonna grab the connection string from here. Uh, just cut that out and make a variable for it. Our connection string equals that big long string. And then we can pass that in, connection string. The next thing we need is an entity path. And so that's gonna be the name of our topic. So that was demo topic. What we can actually do is uh, grab that variable and introduce a, a variable for it as well. And we're gonna call that topic name and then we're, we're not being asked for a receive mode this time because the topic client doesn't receive messages. It's only useful for sending them. You send them to the topic, you actually receive them from the subscription. So here we're just being asked for the retry policy, which is basically the retry policy when you are uh, trying any, any interaction with service bus, you're gonna be asked how you wanna do a retry. And we're just gonna use the default for that. So now we've made ourselves a topic client. That's gonna enable us to save me send messages. Um, we can delete this, uh, the queue client that we had before. We can actually come down and swap in our, our topic client for where we were sending messages before. We can put that in there. Has the exact same send async method that the queue client has because it sends messages in, in kind of exactly the same way. 
uh, and then but we've still got this thing here that we need to be able to register a message handler on and so for that we need a subscription client so let's make one of those that's got a very similar uh, constructor again so we pass in that connection string we pass in the topic name again uh, because it's asking for the topic path because subscriptions are underneath topics uh, and then we put in our subscription name so that was demo subscription one here we are going to receive messages so we're being asked for a receive mode we're going to pick peak clock so we can stay reliable and then we need our retry policy we're going to say retry policy default and then it's the subscription client that really enables you to um uh, to do register message handler All right so now we've got kind of two separate almost connections to service bus a topic client and a subscription client and we're, but we're basically running the exact same code so what i'm going to do now is run this application uh, let's come up here. So let's pull over to the screen. And so it's doing the exact same thing now. It's asking us for the message we're going to send. So we'll say hello. And it's going to send that to the topic and then we're receiving it from the subscription. So it works exactly the same way uh, we were expecting that to happen before. If we throw an exception in our message handler, it's going to call our exception handler exactly the same way that the Q client does it uh, before. So that's basically it. That's, that's how simple it is to send something to topics and, and subscriptions. Um, in our next video, we're going to talk about uh, the competing consumer pattern and how we can kind of scale things out or scale things up with, uh, with topics and subscriptions as well. So feel free to tune into that. Hopefully you liked this video. If you did, please hit like. Uh, if you want to see more on Service Bus and then eventually event hubs and, and, and kind of Azure messaging in general, uh, then hit subscribe, turn on post notifications and you'll get a notification every time I post a new video. Uh, and then if you want, you can hit me up on social media. But thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.